Hi, I'm Rick Pruce from Pruce Pets, uh, one of the owners of Pruce Pets. We've been in business now for 35 years and, are, and currently am in Old Town, uh, Lansing, Michigan, and have a rather large pet store that's kind of like your family pet store grown up. I've been in this business since I was five years old, thanks to my mother, Lena Jean Pruce, and she had this idea back in 1965 that while my dad was doing his thing, she would do her thing. And her thing was really connecting with people, and she happened to do that through owning a fish store. We started out with a fish store, and that was one of her passionate hobbies. Related very, very well with people, and somehow it really clicked. As the years went by, we stayed in it. When I was, from the time I was nine till the time I was 15, we had a pet store literally below where we slept. Um, my mother, when my dad lost his job, decided to go down to the banker and uh, somehow Sweet talked him into buying a building in the middle of a small town, kind of like Alma. And we owned the bottom and top and we lived in the top. There were seven of us kids plus our, the adults. And uh, somehow or another, we managed to figure out how to create a pet store in a small community. Underneath, as I go to bed, I could hear the, the loud sounds of a toucan as it would make strange noises. We had a howler monkey at one point. Uh, one of the fun things is when I was, so I was like from nine years old to when I was 15. So that was my, you know, high school, element, you know, elementary high, going through that age of awareness. And there was just something special about living on top of a pet store and working in a pet store as you were growing up and seeing all these strange and wonderful animals. Yeah. My mother was really a great role model on how to do this right. Both my wife and myself and my daughter now are actively involved in the pet store. What she taught us as we were growing up was the value of connecting with people and the important dividend of really making people's experience successful. If we can do that, we do our job. And we went from, you know, back in 1982, we opened Pruce Animal House, which is now Pruce Pets, same business. And we started 2,000 square foot, quick, as inventory fell off the shelf, as we did our job, did our job well, we ended up going to 6,000 square foot, then 10,000 square foot. As of 11 years ago, we moved into Old Town, Lansing, and had a rather large building to fill, 24,000 square foot facility, and all kinds of dreams and aspirations of how we might do that. So the room we're in right now is a classroom. Classrooms are used as you would expect to educate, and that's been kind of one of our tenets of how we do things and how we do things right. And with this really big building, what's been cool is the front part, the retail area, has had a unique opportunity of setting up like individual environments, if you will, but departments. Um, we do things, either do it right or don't do it at all. So we have a bird department that essentially it's a bird store, you know, more importantly, if somebody comes in and they really want to maximize their uh, potential. We have all the bird, bird for paraphernalia, all the things, but more importantly, train staff for that specific department, and that's all the only place they work. It's kind of counterintuitive when you have a store this big, you would want everybody to be cross trained. But real, the reality sets in when you really want a really valued experience with each and every customer. This is the way we've figured out how to do it. We have a saltwater department, again, known throughout the country as being one premier fish shop, but it just happens to be within this big pet store. Same way with the freshwater department, we do the same thing. And then we also have the reptile and small animal area, and it's a fun, exotic place to go, and it's kind of set up in this tropical paradise, including a, a plain fuselage that's crashed into a tree, and uh, it's surrounded by a big school bus that's beautifully colored, and the small animal department is inside the school bus. And then we have this triumph coming from a hillside for which kind of looks like this fun time on a Caribbean island. Uh, so we've tried to make it kind of a, an atmosphere as well. We, it was just one of those things where we just had an opportunity and we wanted to take advantage of it. My brother, Rob Pruce, is just an amazing genius at this and helped me 
he was the general contractor, he was the construction guy, he was the guy that if I needed something to get accomplished, I could always rely on my brother. Did an awesome job building this store. One thing that's interesting, you would think 24,000 square foot would be enough area to keep everything in, but realistically we have a whole business now that goes out and maintains aquariums throughout the Lansing area. We have over 100 aquariums that on a weekly, monthly basis, we go and visit and clean and make them look nice. And uh, that's a real great outreach of our business. Uh, you go to NCG Theaters, the local theater company, and sure enough, we have, you know, 300 gallons of, of tank space there that is exhibiting cool and wild animals that people will never see. Then all of a sudden they come in here and they see the whole range of animals that we have. And the most rewarding part is the education classroom area. What's kind of cool is it gets to be a charity outreach. At the same time, it tends to be back to the very mission that we had. It's a great place to educate. We do birthday parties. We do birthday parties weekend. Every weekend there's a birthday party or two, maybe six. Uh, sometimes even during the weekdays. When individuals get a birthday party, they don't just get a room, the very room I'm in. They actually get an educator. Uh, Nikki is our education coordinator. And she actually brings animals down into the classrooms and gives them an understanding of what pet keeping, keeping whether it's a tortoise or a lizard or a snake or a spider, what, is, what does that take? What, is it, what does it take to be a successful person? Where do these animals come from? What's the environment they live? Do they come from a dry environment? Do they come from a wet environment? And just doing those things alone kind of puts a really cool like perspective on these young minds and hopefully as the years go by they have a different out outlook on, on what an exotic animal is all about.